we're doing assignment 46, and we're going to look at problem 43, 23. Okay, so it says a 1,500 kilogram, so the mass is equal to 1,500 kilogram satellite is orbiting Earth. So the fact that it's or orbiting Earth, we need to know a couple of things about Earth. So first of all, we know the mass of the Earth is equal to 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. They also tell us that this is a geosynchronous satellite. So a geosynchronous satellite matches the period of Earth's rotation. So that means that T is equal to 24 hours. So it says find A, the radius of the satellite's orbit, B, the satellite's angular momentum, C, the total energy, and then D, the escape velocity. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff we have to do. What I would do first is I would go ahead and convert that period from hours. So I have hours in the numerator, and I want to go from hours to seconds. So if hours is in the numerator, put in the denominator, and 60 times 60 is 3,600. So if you want, you can go from hours to minutes and then minutes to seconds, or you can go directly from hours to seconds. So when I do all this on my calculator, I get 86,400 seconds. So part A says, what is the radius? Now, you can have substituted in your calculator the equation, but let's just go ahead and derive the equation. So we know that V is equal to 2 pi r over t because speed is distance over time. So the distance around a circle is 2 pi r. The time it takes to complete one cycle is the period. We also know that V is equal to the square root of g m over r and we got this from saying the centripetal force is equal to the gravitational force so now i'm going to set these two equations equal to each other so i have 2 pi r over t is equal to radical g m over r now to get rid of the radical i'm going to square both sides so i'm going to have 2 pi r over t squared is equal to g m over r and the reason I'm doing this is on an FRQ, you might get a point or two for deriving the equation and not just having it stored in your calculator or memorized. So that's why we're going through all the intermediate algebra steps. So now we have 4 pi squared r squared over t squared is equal to gm over r. So at this point, I cross multiply this times this is this times that. So I'm going to have 4 pi squared r cubed is equal to gmt squared. So now I have r cubed is equal to g m t squared over 4 pi squared. And now I'm going to substitute in that r is equal to the cube root of g m t squared over 4 pi squared. Now normally for a planet you use capital M and for a satellite you use lowercase m because the uppercase is larger um, significantly. So now I have six universal Newtonian gravitational constant, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared times 5.98 times 10 to the 24, the mass of the Earth, times 86400 seconds squared divided by 4 pi squared. And when I do all that, R came out to be 4.225 times 10 to the 7 meters. So that was part A. Now, again, I would recommend substituting this equation in your calculator because that also can be a multiple choice question. So this way you just look, okay, circular orbits, what's my equation, boom. All right, now let's look at part B. So part B says to find angular momentum. So when I read that, I'm going to say two things to myself. What is angular momentum? 
angular momentum is equal to I omega, but it's also equal to MVR. And remember going around in either in circular orbit like this or even a elliptical orbit, we know that angular momentum is conserved. So I'm not using this part, I'm just using MVR. So it's 1500 times 4.225 times 10 to the seven times well, I just realized I forgot to do something. I forgot to, I don't know what V is. So now I know that, and I'll just do it up here. I know that V is equal to 2 pi R over T. So that's equal to 2 pi times 4.225 times 10 to the 7 divided by the period, which is 86,000. 400 seconds. So this comes out to be 3073 meters per second. And this is what happen when you're working in FRQ. You know, you'll be doing this and say, wait a second, I don't know um, what V is. So that, let me go ahead and, and find that. So this is 3073 meters per second. So L is 1.95 times 10 to the 14 kilogram meter squared per second. And don't forget your units, even on recent FRQs, if you don't write your units at the end, they might throw in a point at the end and say, oh, if you wrote your units in each section, you get another point. Okay, so make sure you always put your final units there and make sure they're correct, because that would be an easy point. All right, part C says find, determine the, total energy. So the total energy E is the sum of K plus U. So that's going to be one half MV squared minus G big M little m over R. Now you can either substitute in all those values here, 1500, 3073 squared minus 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11, 5.98, 10 to the 24, 1,500, I'm writing tiny, over 4.225 times 10 to the 7. Or, if you look in our notes, we also see derived the total energy is equal to negative big G mm over 2R. Okay. So this is going to be easier math, you know, to put in your calculator. And you should get the same answer. So which is the best way to do it? You use the first way that you think. Okay? And again, in your notes has this derivation where you're, you're basically simplifying it. Divided by 2 times 4.225 times 10 to the 7. So either way you do it, your final answer comes out to be negative 7.08 times 10 to the 9 joules. The last part of the question says determine its escape speed. So again, you can have the equation in your calculator memorized for escape speed, okay? So to escape a planet's gravity, an object must have enough kinetic energy to climb out of the hole and reach infinity. So UF is zero. Also, the minimum escape speed must be just enough to barely reach this point with no excess energy. So the final kinetic is also zero. So again, if you were to derive this, you would say K naught plus U naught is equal to KF plus UF. And then you would have one half MB squared minus g m m over r is equal to zero plus zero and when you rearrange that you end up getting that v is equal to radical 2 g big m over r so what i would do is i would just program this in and you see that the escape speed is the escape speed dependent upon the mass of the little, the satellite? No. So these are like multiple choice type questions they would possibly ask you. So we substitute in our values to universal Newtonian gravitational constant, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meters squared per kilogram squared times the mass of the Earth, 
5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms divided by um, 4.225 times 10 to the 7. And again, normally you're going to have your answer for part A, part B, part C. You're going to need all these. So the velocity comes out to be 4345 meters per second. Again, what you need to do is you need to program this in your calculator and say this is escape speed. You need to program in the radius. Now remember, there's also the period in terms of the other variables depending upon what they ask you because every question is going to be just a little bit different. Okay? And you do it step by step.